Edvotech Informational Video The History of Electrophoresis Agarose gel electrophoresis separates molecules based on their physical characteristics. It uses electricity and a porous gel matrix to separate different molecules, dyes, nucleic acid, and proteins into discrete zones based on their physical properties. This includes charge of the molecule, its size, and its shape. This versatile biotechnology technique is used in research labs around the world every day. The theory behind electrophoresis began with Faraday's law of electrolysis. These equations describe the way that charged ions in solution move through electrical fields. Using these laws and data from other experiments, Arne Tesalius, a biochemist at the University of Uppsala, developed a system to separate protein mixtures, like blood, into its components. The device that Tesalius built to separate the proteins was a U-shaped tube with electrodes at either end. He filled the tube with the sample and buffer and then applied charge to the ends of the apparatus to create an electric field. Based on the charge of the molecules, they would move either towards the anode or the cathode at different speeds. In order to visualize the results, Tesalius measured the speed that light passed through the solution at different spots along the tube. A change in this measurement, known as the refractive index, indicated the presence or absence of a protein. In general, each zone represents molecules of a different charge. In 1948, Tesalius won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for developing this technique, which he called moving boundary electrophoresis. One problem with this moving boundary electrophoresis was that it didn't separate similarly charged molecules very well. They moved through the electric field at the same rate. To address this, researchers introduced a porous matrix to the electrophoresis system to physically separate molecules during electrophoresis. The samples were loaded into the matrix and current applied. As the molecules are moved by the electrical field, they pass through the pores in the gel. Since it's easier for smaller molecules to move through the gel than larger ones, the molecules separate into bands by size, with larger ones near the wells and smaller ones further down the gel. Many substrates were tested, including paper and starch, before researchers settled on the use of agarose for DNA and polyacrylamide for protein. Today, electrophoresis is one of the most common biotechnology techniques used in the research laboratory. While this technique is powerful enough to be used in the research lab, it is simple enough to be performed in the teaching classroom.